Sorry I'm doing it, because look, my nail broke, so look, don't judge my nails, okay? That one broke, this one broke, y'all gonna see some broke nails on this video, but... watching Daima Epiphany. I noticed I never say my name on my video so I want to make sure I start doing that so that those of you who are following me who don't actually know me in real life know how to say it. Um, today this video is going to be a little different. Um, I've had people ask me about the equipment I use to film. This is my handy dandy little backpack that I take everywhere with me. And so, I'm going to give you guys a glimpse at what's in my camera bag. What do I use for vlogging? Um, I can even show you what I use for photography. It's fine. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. And if you're not new here, but you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Make sure you like this video. Any comments, questions, drop them in the comment section. Let's go ahead and get started. The camera I use... For my videos is gonna be this Sony a6400 when I first started vlogging for YouTube um, I was vlogging on a Canon T6i a rebel T6i which I no longer have that was my first like introductory um, photography camera and so I did sell it um, and then they upgraded me let me get up close so you can see Okay, while I'm on here, let me kind of just explain some of these like basic accessories that you might see that I have in addition. Um, so you see this little attachment right here. This is called, I think it's called a cold shoot. I think it's what they call it. I always get confused whether it's a cold shoot or a hot shoot. I think it's a cold shoot, right? And so it goes into where the mic would normally be. So this is where my microphone, oh, I'm sorry, I keep looking at myself. So this is where my microphone would normally go. I had to move my microphone to be able to come plug up on this side because with this particular camera, the screen does flip all the way up like this. In order to be able to see myself when I'm recording, I need to have my camera screen up like this, which that would block where I would that would block where my mic goes. So in order to still be able to see my screen and use a mic, I had to have it relocated and I put it here. So that's one thing you'll notice about my camera. And I'm sorry y'all, y'all are gonna have to ignore these broke nails. They are killing me right now. But anyways, yeah. So that's that. So again, the camera I use is the Sony A6400. Okay, this is my vlog camera. It's my baby. It goes everywhere with me. Um, I won't get into like specifics on the camera. If you want me to do like a video on the specifics of this camera, drop it in the comment section so that I know. Um, but just as far as like a basic what camera do I use, this is what I'm currently using for video, video only. I do not use this vi or this camera for photography purposes, okay? So while we're on the topic of like the photography side, just in case, I'll throw this in. This is my actual photography camera, okay? So um, I really upgraded to this first. I had this before I had my Sony A6400. I just got my A6400 this year, but this was like my real photography camera. And so, this is the Canon Mark III, and right now it has my 50 millimeter lens on it um, and a couple other accessories. But this is my like real life photography camera right here. Um, I haven't used it in a while, but this is bae. This is a heavy. This is 
it's a big boy you can also use this camera for vlogging i mean i personally wouldn't use it out in public but if you wanted to like vlog or create your videos in your at home studio i would highly recommend this camera um the only thing is it doesn't have a pop-up screen it, the screen is like flush to the camera so you're gonna have to do something like my current setup here's like the setup i'm having to use right now to record this video so again we have the sony a7 III it has a screen but the screen doesn't pop out like mine does on my camera so since this camera does not have a screen that pops up I'm currently I have like a cord running that you guys should probably be able to see and it actually runs to my TV hey y'all so yes, it is running to my TV. So as I'm recording on that camera right here, I can also still see myself up there. So if you decide to use the Canon or if you decide to use this a7 III, you're going to have to have some type of external monitor um, in place because it does not have a flip up screen for you to use. So. That's why I highly recommend A6400. As far as microphones, because we talked, I just talked about mics and me having to relocate my mic to go here. Let me show you which mic I use. So this is my little Rode mic that I use. And it's real simple. It pretty much just, you just take it, open up the camera on the sides, just plug it in. And then, like I said, typically it would go here on top of the camera. But again, I need my screen to be visible. So I can just pop it in to the side. I just twist it a little bit. And it's on. So now this is like my main vlog camera setup right here and of course again i normally have the screen up like this one other element that i also do typically like to use when filming my vlogs is some type of like not stabilizer like not i, I have a gimbal and i use it sometimes but gimbals are really difficult to use like i feel like photographers know about gimbals it's on a whole like learning about gimbals is a whole nother like expertise level like i said i either use a gimbal or a tripod some type of like handheld tripod so this is the easier tripod to use i would say this is just let me get up close this is just a cheap little tripod you can find it on Amazon so that or a gorilla pod it's called a gorilla pod for some reason but the name is Joby right this thing is kind of cool because like you can bend the legs it can like wrap around things you can do all kinds of crazy stuff with the legs apparently they pull off too but I'm not gonna do that right now the only thing I don't like about this thing is I tried to use it earlier with my lens setup um, for this video and it couldn't balance the camera like it was too much weight. So I would probably need to go up to the next size Gorilla Pod. But this is another item that you can use to record your videos if you're trying to like hold it or anything like that. It has like the little level on it so that you know whether your video or whether your footage is straight etc so that's my gorilla pod so that that overall is my basic camera setup like i said with one of these tripods as an attachment i have a bunch of other little accessories for when i travel 
and I need to do video like I have this light. So say if I'm somewhere and I'm shooting and it's dark and I need to like a light, I can use this. Also, I have extra uh, memory cards, of course, batteries for this. And then I have, which I never use, I have this little, um, the little, what do you call it? This little clicker thing to take like my selfies. And I don't use this. So I need to probably start utilizing this more. Aaliyah Faith did a video on how she takes her own selfies and stuff. And she uses her little clicker. I'm going to have to use that, Aaliyah. I'm going to have to take your tip. Because the girl got this to go with the ring light. And I don't even use it. But it is in my handy dandy little camera bag. I do have a couple other lenses. So, let's, well, let's talk about lenses. This is going to be the standard kit lens that came on my Sony a6400. As you guys know, I did purchase this new lens, the Sigma, um, and I love this baby. It be having my footage super clear and crispy and just, yes, look at this. I'm, I'm actually filming on same lens, a, a Sigma, but it's a 35 millimeter. Um, so that one is going to make the shot uh, more close, like more close in. Whereas the 16 millimeter is going to be more wide, but the 35 millimeter is still a pretty wide lens. But this one is even wider, okay? In this video, you see this bokeh, this blur, or whatnot. That's what this lens is good for. I also have this is the kit lens for the a7 III and it's pretty good it's really nice it's a kit lens so it's expected not to just you know be like this super high performing lens most kit lenses whatever lens or when i say kit lens i mean whatever lens that comes standard with your camera those are not always the best lens typically never honestly like they're plastic or whatever um and you typically want to go ahead and upgrade your lens and get some better lenses. So do your research, figure out what lens goes best for whatever you're trying to do, whether it's photography, whether it's vlogging, whatever the purpose is going to serve. Do your research and find the lens that is going to best fit your needs. One light that I use is a ring light. The other light that I use is the GDM light, um, like a studio light. Again, Prices, exact items will be in the description box. Go check it out if you're interested in purchasing. This good old handy dandy MacBook Pro. The software that I actually use to edit my videos is Final Cut Pro. Right now, don't judge me. I'm on a trial. I did have Final Cut Pro, like a broken version or whatever, um, meaning like I got it for free and I didn't have to pay. I think they give you like 90 days, which is pretty damn good. I don't know what I'm going to do after my trial ends. Hopefully somebody got the plug for me on the free version. If you if you do, holla at me. DM me on Instagram, Diume Epiphany, Facebook, Diume Epiphany. Somebody give me a plug because I really don't want to pay two, three, nothing for that program. So I'm a bit of a perfectionist, so I'll be honest. Some days I can edit a video on like one day and be done, right? But other days I'll edit and I'll be like, you know what? I probably need to stop um, and I'll come back to it tomorrow because there might be something that I miss or things that I want to add in or effects or something like that. So um, I, can, I will say that if you want to edit a video in one day, it will probably take you, depending on the length of the video, it may take you like an hour or two. Um, and maybe more like I said it typically just depends on the amount of footage that you are editing or how long you want that video to be what effects you want to add to it all kinds of there's just a bunch of different factors that play into how long it takes to edit that footage any extra fees or hidden fees or anything like that um, 
in the software that I use. Um, no, I think Final Cut Pro, everything, there's not any hidden fees that I can think of or anything like extra that I needed to pay for for Final Cut Pro. I personally did go and use a website to download like some different templates and like effects and transitions and things like that so I can make my videos more creative um and so that's a, there is a site that I use to download and get those effects um and I'm not saying the name of it because none of these videos are sponsored so once they want to start sponsoring some videos then I will include the name but Amazon is going to sponsor this video hopefully you know, because all of the links that I am including in this video in the description section as I've said before, um, are going to be to Amazon and where you can purchase the product. Um, and it will be through my Amazon Influencer account. Uh, so yeah, make sure you check those out. Like I said, anything that I have talked about in this video, if you are interested in purchasing, it will be down in the description box. Just click the link. Go ahead and make your purchase um, through Amazon. Guys, a lot of people hit me up and say, hey, what camera or, you know, what camera do you recommend? To do vlogs or what camera do you recommend to do videos um what camera do you recommend for photography a lot of people ask me this question ever since i got into photography and i always tell them and i know they probably hate this response but i always tell them like start off with your phone and i say that because a lot of the technology that they are putting into these phones the these phones are able to do a lot of what some cameras can do the megapixels are very similar um speeds the iphone now you can change your 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 shutter speed you can change your iso you can change your um uh, aperture you can change all of these things now on iphones whereas in the past you weren't able to do that so if you already have a thousand plus dollar cell phone i'm not going to personally recommend that you go out and purchase a camera you know especially if you are just starting off in photography um, I just recommend learning how to use what you already have before you go out and purchase a camera. However, if you do want to invest in equipment, then I do recommend my Sony A6400 as a good start off camera. It's a little pricey for a start off camera. But my thing about going out and spending thousands of dollars or even hundreds of, uh, hundreds of dollars on a camera is if you're not going to take the time to learn how to use it like all the proper functions what's the point of spending your money like you're not going to get the most out of your camera number one until you learn how to use it on manual mode what is manual mode that means you like i said you have to know how to adjust your aperture your uh iso your shutter speed all of those things to make your picture look a certain type of look a certain type of way not just turn on your camera on auto mode and start shooting and that's what people typically um do but i feel like you're not getting the most out of your camera unless you learn how to shoot on manual mode so yes i shoot on manual mode all the time whether i'm doing photography whether i'm doing um shooting my videos i do shoot on manual mode and my settings for my camera stay the same especially when i'm recording on video um and so yeah those things never change um so that's why i recommend i don't recommend going out and just purchasing a camera i say use your iphone use what you already have save your money you can spend money when you start making the money so that's just my mind set um so i'm sorry if that response disappoints you guys but that is like a genuine uh recommendation that i would give to you guys to save you money be cost effective and um Get the most out of things that you already have i think that's everything you guys i hope this video wasn't too long again don't forget to like comment and subscribe i love you guys i appreciate the love and support that you guys are showing me i appreciate everybody sharing my videos please help me get to 1000 subscribers help me i'm all kind of far off but it's gonna be okay i'm gonna get there i i just recently started getting consistent so i understand um but if you guys have any more video requests or things that you want to see again all as always drop it in the comment section let me know reach out to me if you have my phone number anything i don't know just hit me up social media hit me up let me know what you want to see um until next time i'm out